Hey guys, Cooper McNeil, driver of the number 63 WeatherTech Ferrari. Here we are in beautiful Daytona in the famous Daytona garages. And I'm going to show you guys a little bit about the Ferrari. So new for this year is uh, our Evo kit. So we're still running a 488 GT3 car, but this year there's an evolution that they came out with that Ferrari designed for us. So there's a, a, a bit of things that are different. This year we have these big dive planes in the front. Last year we didn't have anything. We went from nothing to big six or seven inch wide dive planes, which is, uh, is new for us. It, it supposedly is gonna add a bunch more front arrow and uh, make the front grip a lot better. And that's the, that's the idea there. Another evolution that they came out with is the splitter. Underneath the splitter, they changed a lot. So a lot of the arrow underneath is, has been designed for, uh, for more clean air passing through, meaning more downforce. Again, more clean air passing through. These vents are new, so they used to be smaller before, but with the Evo kit, they're a lot bigger, trying to evacuate more air out of the wheel well. Same thing we see here with the, these uh, side vents here on, on just behind the left front wheel. These are a lot beefier than before. They used to be smaller and more narrow and a little bit more fragile. Now they've gone with a bigger one, more holes, trying to evacuate more air out of the wheel well and get, uh, get more clean air going through. They also tapered the front of the door, so the door's a lot rounder, as well as the front of the splitter is much more tapered now. So again, trying to evacuate as much air out of the wheel well as possible and make the car go faster on the straights. They changed the construction of the side mirror uh, as well and it's a little bit more sleek, a little bit more aerodynamic, trying to cut through the air a little bit better than, uh, than it previously did. We have uh, some fantastic brakes on the car, Brembo brakes um, that uh, really allow us to, to stand on the brakes really late into the brake zone. They, we have ABS on the GT3 cars, uh, unlike the GT2 cars, uh, which is nice because if you're in the rain, you can, you can rely on the, uh, the brake system to, to, do, to do some of the braking for you instead of locking the tires up. Uh, double wishbone suspension, geometry, um, full carbon Kevlar inner uh, wheel well, really trying to, uh, to make it as light and as strong as possible and uh, make us go as fast as possible. Another thing that they changed with the Evolution kit this year is the wheelbase. They actually made the wheelbase 20 uh, millimeters longer than it was uh, previously. So a little bit more stability under braking, um, meaning we can brake later and uh, extract more out of the lap time in our WeatherTech Ferrari than we previously could. Uh, inside the cockpit, we uh, have a few things that are different this year. They changed a little bit with the throttle mapping, so we have uh, a little bit more torque control, lower end, so when we're exiting the corner, we're able to, um, to maximize the exit speed when we, when we were struggling a little bit before with, with getting out of the corner. Ferrari also worked closely with Bosch to uh, rework essentially the ABS system. So we have much more uh, controllability inside the cockpit with the ABS systems of this car. Um, so with the aero, the longer wheelbase, and the different uh, electronics in the car with the Evo package, we're able to go a lot faster and uh, uh, a lot longer over the stint as well. So with the Ferrari, we obviously run the 24 hours of Daytona. So me personally as a driver, the mindset in the car is, is a bit different than a 40 minute, uh, say, runoffs race, which uh, I won at the uh, VIR runoffs last year for SCCA. So in this car, over 24 hours, it's, uh, it, you know, you gotta take it easy. You have to bring the car home essentially. So no penalties, no putting any wheels off, no contact because you can't win the race in the first hour. So we really try and, try and take it easy early on but uh, with that being said, 40 minute runoffs race, you don't have that luxury. You have to push as hard as you can every single lap to maximize what you can out of the car. And the Porsche I ran last year, built by Fall Line Motorsports, ran flawlessly the entire time and uh, really, really made me confident as a driver to be able to lean on the car and the Hoosier tires for the entire 40 minutes and still have some at the end in case I needed to, to fight somebody for, for second place. But, uh, the mindset in this car for a 24-hour race is, is, is much different. You know, we try and take it easy early on and, and save the car for my other co-drivers so they can do their job, run clean, fast laps. But it also takes a bit of uh, lady luck. You know, there no penalties. We can't have any pit stop penalties, no issues in pit lane, no wheels off, no contact, especially in the 24 hours of Daytona where the level of competition in GT Daytona, Daytona is so high that it really puts a burden on us drivers to maximize what we can out of the car without putting a wheel off, without damaging the car, 
uh, hurting the floor, the suspension, bending a wheel, bending an upright or bending an A-arm or something. And, and uh, so we really try and, and, and make the car last till the last uh, two, three hours, and that's when we push, start pushing really hard. So my first laps in the Evo uh, Ferrari 488 GT3 car happened to be at Fiorano Test Track in Italy, where we did about 150 kilometers on the car, but it was uh, about 40 degrees outside, so we took it easy, just wanted to learn the car, make sure everything worked properly and not hurt anything. My first laps, real true laps in the race car were here at the Roar uh, yesterday at Daytona, and it's a bit different than the, than the previous car. So essentially, you're not relearning the car, but there's a lot of different, different ways to drive the thing. There's new systems that you need to, to adapt to. So I really try and enter it with an open mindset and let the car come to me instead of trying to tell it what to do. Try to learn the car, learn what it likes, learn what it doesn't like, and uh, really try and maximize what I can out of it, in, especially in testing, because when we come here in a few weeks, there's no time for, for learning anything. It's time to you know, run flat out and fast laps, and uh, hopefully we get on the podium. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour of our WeatherTech 488 GT3 car. Big thanks to WeatherTech Racing, Scuderia Corsa, and Ferrari for building us such a fantastic car, supporting us all season long, and uh, we're going to try really hard to get on the podium here at Daytona, hopefully get a watch, and uh, stay tuned.